Hi everyone, this is a short guide on how to calibrate the pH sensor. There will be a few things that you will need. A pH sensor, your mobile device, pH 4 solution, pH 7 solution, pH 10 solution, a beaker, as well as a bottle of distilled water. Open up the app and click build new experiment. Pick the most basic layout which is on the top right hand corner. Next, it is recommended that you pick the metered mode by clicking the 1, 2, 3 option. If you prefer a graph, pick the graphical mode which is to the left of the 1, 2, 3 option. Next, switch on the probe by holding down the power button for 2 seconds. The red light near the Bluetooth icon should be blinking. Ensure that the Bluetooth of your device is switched on as well. Now, click the Bluetooth icon in the SparkView app. Connect the sensor to the app by clicking on the sensor number that is stated on your sensor. Click done once it has been connected. Next, click the Select Measurement option. Select the pH option. Click the Calibration icon. It is in the middle of the three icons in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Press Calibrate ISE. Pick the pH option and press Calibrate ISE. You are now at the calibration screen. Press Continue. Next, remove the bottle covering the probe by unscrewing it. Next, wash the end of the probe with distilled water. Dip the end of the probe into the pH 4 solution. Keep an eye on the sensor value under pH 4. Once it has stabilized, press Set Calibration. Rinse the end of the probe with distilled water again. Dip the end of the probe into the pH 10 solution. Scroll down to Calibration Point 2. Once again, keep a close eye on the sensor value. Once the sensor value has stabilized, press Set Calibration. You have now completed your two-point calibration. Press OK. Tap anywhere on the screen to return to the main menu. Rinse the end of the probe with distilled water. The next step is to ensure that the calibration was done successfully. Press Start. Place the end of the probe into the pH 7 solution. The registered pH should be close to pH 7. You have now completed the pH sensor calibration. You may now begin with your experiment. 